Hey, welcome back to Brunch Live on the Q Television Network. I'm Scotty Withers. And I'm Honey Labrador, and we are here with the fabulous, fabulous, sexy Joya. Yay! Fabulous, fabulous, sexy. You look hot. Yes. Well, I was for really, I was reeling myself <laughs> in there right now. What did you say? Did you say for an old girl? For an old girl. That's the, that's the, the once you hit a certain age, it's like, you know, you look really good for eight years old. Like, mm. Can I tell you something, though? Okay. Let me just say this. I just saw this wonderful, I, I, I turned 40 this past year, so you know what? I'm like, it's all about... Don't even go there. Okay. He's a baby. He's just a baby, so he's... Yeah, I see. He still has the bald head and everything. But I'm getting beat up. <laughs> I'm liking this. <laughs> well, we, were, we really appreciate you coming in today. Thanks. Because so many people in our, in our company and around the country just have experienced your music, and it meant so much to them at different, age, different periods in their life. Everybody came out of the closet to Expose. You know that. We did. Uh -huh. It's the truth. I mean, I've, I've really discovered that. Why That's do you think your music just resonated? Well, why is that? Why do you think people came out of the closet to the music? All I know is a lot of the fans that we had 20 years ago come to my shows now, and I'm like, and I recognize them because I got to know everybody. Right, you know, really? they all came on my bus, and 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 oh, I was really? like, I knew, you, I, was, I knew you were. You know, everyone knew you were. How did you know I was? I just knew. You know, my whole. I had to come on your bus. You didn't come on my bus. My mom was always inviting people on the bus. Oh, come they? in, have some pasta. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's fantastic. Why do you think it was that, you know, the, the GLBT community just kind of dance captured music. that? And yeah, it's a dance music It's dance thing. music. I mean, it was new. It was exciting. What is it? You know, anything that's new and exciting is, you know, is, is what you guys are pulling out. Yeah. Right? I got to tell you. Or yeah. what us guys are pulling out. Right. Anyway. And you're 16 when you started. Yeah. So how was that? Jose, no, but you, were, you started singing in nightclubs. So what was that experience like? So were you like young? I mean, I, I yeah. could say it's like, you know, I was a young party girl at 16. Sure. You know, I was going to sure. Studio 54 and things like that. Were you? Yeah, were you? I was going there, but I was more, I was working more. Studio 54 was not was more disco and less, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, we were disco, but I wasn't really yet. Right. I didn't and know yet. Just talking before the show. And you have a daughter who's about to be 18. 18 wow. May. Yeah, mine's going to be 17. When she grew up with all of this, she was around this. Yeah. Did, how did you explain to her the whole, the, uh, the GLBT issue, that a lot of your fans were GLBT? Did she just understand it right away? Because a lot of kids have a problem with it. My daughter is just, you know, I, well, I'm not going to talk about her no, personal, no, personal right. life, but um, no, no, she's just completely really open, yeah, she's with, open with everything. And, and she embraces everyone, and she doesn't That's put great. labels. And, right. Now, well, I was married. I was married to uh, my daughter's father, but we split up when she was six months old. And then I was with my first girlfriend, so that's the only way that right. she knows me. And, you know, she's got, you know, a hundred gay uncles and, mm -hmm. you know, all this that's family. Right. But I think it's she's like... She's always yeah. pushing me towards the girls, my daughter. Oh, really? Like, you should really think about, you know, this one. Wait a minute. That one. Hold well, okay. on. Hold on. If it was between <laughs> honey and... Scott, who are you going with? I, I like the threesome idea, to tell you the truth. Oh. I, think it's me. Is it? I told you we should have interviewed her in the so, bed. So we have a bed. Are you saying that you date women? Oh. I have dated, yeah. You have know. dated women? Yeah. Very yeah. nice. So where the hell did our paths cross at the Palladium and nothing ever happened? <laughs> that must have been in my... No, I wasn't dating women back then. Yeah. And now right presently dating a guy. Yeah. His name is Hot Guy. Hot guy. Hot guy. Uh, yeah, hot guy. I'm dating hot girl. I, I'm dating his sister. And so he's a, go on a... a wonderful person. Very yes. cool. Very well, nice. I mean, and that's yeah, something that, you know, it's funny because it's, um, it's really, you know, I just did this movie and I end up, you know, in, in a situation that everybody comes up to me and they're like, you know, how can you be kissing a guy? And for me, it's really about the soul. Exactly. And when I had my first girlfriend, I used to say, it's like, you know, no, it's, I'm not a lesbian. I'm not this. I hate the label thing. It's like I was in, this, it was the soul. It was yeah. about the soul of this person and just being sexual. Hey, anyone the light are out, what's the difference? And, and well, all actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're always moving closer, but I'm